Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we just finished up the Aranara questline featuring Aranakin, Aragaru, and uh, now I think the questline, I don't know, this might take us into the giant ruin machine. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, it's in this general area, so I assume so, because the, the Archon quest didn't take us here, and no side quest or world quest thus far has brought me here, so this is it. This is going to be the next world quest sequence with the Aranara, and after this point, I think we'll have everything else finished in terms of like subplots for the Aranara, and then we'll just be able to do the dream nursery for for part two all right oh there's a look at this oh it's a blue one ara raikin ah human don't be afraid we're not bad humans paimon's paimon and he's murder of birds you're ara raikin right we are friends of Aranara. araja sent us here saying that you could help us there's been strange humans around that's why i got a, i was a bit scared i didn't mean to scare you it was just that we didn't know if you were <laughs> what you were so absorbed in since you can see ara raikin and, and our friends with Araja, the forest must recognize you. You are a good human. Ara Raiken is not afraid. Did you say that you have questions for Ara Raiken? Yeah, that's right. We'd like to know more about the suspicious human around Vimara Village. Arana is good to Aranara, protecting forests often and helping little humans always. Recently, the local forest, the forest in the streams uh, are always crying. Maybe it's because of the withering. The withering, bad. Morana refers to the wind withering, and Vana, that's gotta mean the fo You are so behind right now it's not even funny i love how they're trying to explain this to me now and i'm like bro i i i figured this shit out hours ago sunshine brings happiness but too much sunshine means less water water makes us grow and no water means withering songs bring happiness and power getting sick makes us upset and being sick for too long means withering it's the same for the forest and the rnr forest has been crying harder lately ara Raiken is worried is it because the withering is harming the forest ara Raiken is not sure it smells like like withering but not really the same but ara Raiken knows that some bad dirty stuff is making the forest sick in places ara Raiken can't see the forest keeps being sick like this a super giant withering will come and suck all living things away all the flowers will wither and leaves will fall fruits will go bad and the mushrooms will stop growing no more mushrooms that means no more mushroom chicken skewer and around the area of sickness there is a weird human that might be the bad human you want good humans help ara Raiken, and ara Raiken takes you to him it's like we could help each other what do you think that's exactly what i was thinking thank you but the withering is scary humans will die we've dealt with it before we'll be all right murder of birds defeated the withering before you're very strong and you are golden human just like the legendary lumine you look reliable i believe in you tell us about the super bad super dirty stuff i have seen many weird hilly nara oh look at that yo what the hell yo they referred to the hilly churls as humans too because at one point hilly churls used to be people they've been acting suspiciously around the giant iron mountain. Hilly Nara? Giant iron mountain? You mean that super big ruin guard over there? Speaking of which, something seems off with that ruin machine. It has no core. Hey, that's true. Are these things still field tillers or are these things like giant field tiller? That's true. Other ruin machines all have cores that look like an eye. Ara Raikin knows nothing about ruin machines. As for the giant iron mountain, it has been here since a long, long time ago. Long, long time ago? How long is that exactly? Time it takes for tiny little seeds to grow into giant trees that can touch the sky. It might have been here before or during the fall of Conria. Because we know that in Enkonomiya, for example, we knew that there were some envoys from Conria that went there looking for the Before Sun and Moon Book. So we know that people from Conria have gone to other nations before. So I don't know if these were stationed here to do business with Sumeru. I don't know why the fuck they would need giant mountain-sized robots. Huh, that sure is a long, long time. But it wouldn't be hurting the forest if it'd been here for that long. Bad humans might come here because of it, though. Hmm, you have a point. Bad guys like the Fatui, Treasure Hoarders, and the Abyss Order. Super bad guys. Bad humans, bad. Either way, let's investigate it, shall we? Who knows? We might even find some treasure. Thank you. Ara Raiken also saw that there are other strange things besides the suspicious human. All right, then. Let's go. Don't fall behind now. I still find it very fascinating that the Aranara are still able to view the Hilly Churl out side of like what they actually are i think around version 1.4 was when i was started thinking like oh i wonder if the hilly churls and the abyss order were the results of conria's destruction but they didn't confirm that until 2.6 when the chasm came out so we were still like we had our suspicions but we couldn't be too sure but the r and r are basically like nah these things are humans so right out the 
right out the gate, these guys are already like very understanding about things beneath the surface. Another thing too is I wonder if the Aranara, it must have been around before hilly churls became a thing. Cause like, here's the thing too, right? A lot of people have this misconception that hilly churls originated from Conria and that's not necessarily true. I think hilly churls originate wherever there was a civilization that was struck down by Celestia. So there were humans from Conria that became hilly churls. There were humans at Solvin Dagnir that became hilly churls because of the pillar there. There were humans that became hilly churls in Surumi Island because there's a spear there. And obviously the hilly churls that we saw in the upside down civilization, you know, are obviously a factor as well. The hilly churls predate Conria's fall because Celestia was striking down civilizations before Conria. Conria is just the most recent one. That's something really important to remember. I know a lot of people have this misconception that the 2.8 Archon quest with Dainsley pretty much like people think that all hilly churls originated from Conria, and I don't think that's the case. Another thing too, there's a hilly churl named Uko in Dragonspine that used to be a, a human. Now it's just a giant frost arm lava churl. So that just basically proves that the humans became hilly churls. I might have skipped this because I didn't have a fire character equipped and I didn't feel like doing it at the time. Teamwork is true. Midnight. The wind knows me. Can't see. Got him. Oh, okay. Never mind. Okay, I see it now. Sora's note. Oh, interesting. This seems to be a page torn from a research log, perhaps because it is a, it was irrelevant. Paper was covered in moss and the contents have long ceased to be whole. Exploring the jungle with Zandik. Okay, this fucking name again. Speculating right now that it might be Notori's original name during his time in the academia before he got kicked out. Its local biodiversity is impressive. Although the growing effects of the withering in other areas have also affected this area, it is yet to pose a greater threat. Also, it's a giant fucking ruin machine here and wasn't zandik like fascinated by like conry attack like ruin machines we discovered a few new micro scarab spe species i suppose i could name them nahidad scarabs which means the dendro archon's boon a good name i'd say zandik was attracted by the ancient machines left behind by some civilization here he's young handsome too a segment in the prime of his life perhaps but he's too rigid and the research approach of his darshan has nothing in common common with a murder. As a result, we have nothing to talk about even though we are exploring this place together. That's pretty annoying. Zandik and I discussed the traits of local plants and animals. We also exchanged views on their evolution models. We had a great time and decided to go on a picnic tonight. Please tell me you didn't fall in love with a mad scientist. Can't say Dotori's maiden list if that's him. Oh, we're getting really close. Yeah, so I wasn't able to go into up top over here. So I think that's uh, what we're getting at. Also, this waypoint wasn't here before. I'm just saying, like, I literally came all the way up here. I don't think this waypoint was here. Murder of birds, that's the suspicious human. He's been sneaking around here with that sus machine. Hmm, you're right. Coming to a place like this is pretty sus. Uh, I'd say you're the sus ones here. After all, I am a certified researcher from the academia and you're outlanders of unknown origin. I'm murder of birds and I'm on the trail of a suspicious human. Uh... What are you talking about? We've been commissioned to investigate the situation here. Well, it doesn't matter. My name is Jazari. Okay, so I need to write down like all of these research darshans and remember them. So we have a murder, which is biology. Spantomat are the elements. Another thing too, is I need to remember what icons they all have. We have the one that starts with R. I don't really know how to pronounce it. It's like Raheist or something like that. That one's astrology. We have a uh, Haravitat, study runes and linguistics. Oh, and they have the color too. So that one's green spantamad is red that one is blue the vahumana take expeditions to ruin ruins so ruin explorers and their color is yellow and lastly we have this guy who is a researcher in technology the shariwar white with a lion yeah and they specialize in tech i just had to write a bunch of fucking notes here for all of the dart the six darshan so i can remember them moving forward i haven't been keeping up on those at the very least and i want to be able to do that so moving forward it's just easier for me to comprehend everything so we have the six darshans marada which is biology and that is green with the winged beast you have spontamod which focus on elements and they're red with the peacock you have the raheist which is astrology and they are blue with the moon and stars crest you have the haravatat which study runes and linguistics and it is black with the bull you have the vahumana which are re ruin explorers and they are yellow with the horse and you have the shara 
Rewar, which are white, focusing on technology with the Lion's Crest. You must have noticed the huge ruin machine out there, right? That is actually a ruin golem made in the ancient realm of Conria, confirmed. So ruin golem, okay, that's the official name. I was calling it Ruin Daddy this whole time. In the local lexicon of Conria, the name might possibly have been something like Mechanical Warden. See, we're right behind the ruin golem. The machine's operator, should there have been one, would have been entered from here. Dude, it's like a freaking Megazord that was like powered by humans on the inside. But a machine of this size would have required more than one operator, right? Exploring the ruin golem from the inside seems to be the only solution. I'm pretty, uh, and I'm presently looking for a way in. You sound more suspicious by the minute. That's right. We did meet with an Abyss Order member disguised as a researcher that one time. That is true, Enjo. Paimon reckons he was called Enjo. Murder of Birds, do you remember what happened to him again? We beat the snot out of it. Well, he let us beat the crap out of him. Let off some steam. Pretty sure Enjo can run circles around us if, if he really wanted to. He could run circles around us. Hey, hey, please don't. I'm a legitimate researcher. You don't believe me, do you? See this? This is an investigation charter from the academia with the highest possible level of clearance. That's not something to be given away on the street. The issue is that he can't see you, Araraiken. Mm-hmm. When humans grow up, they can't see Aranara anymore. Young humans see us because they are innocent, but grown humans are fucking tainted to the core. Murder of Birds is the dreamer, favored by tree and flowers, so you can see us even as a grown-up. Anyways, we should be more careful when talking to Aranara in front of the others. Well, Paimon doesn't think Jazari is lying anyways. You might have misunderstood him. Anyways, since he's doing research here, he should be pretty familiar with the situation. Maybe he can help you. As a Shariwar researcher who specializes in studying ruin machines, I've been investigating this big guy over here for years. No one on this earth knows more about this ruin golem than I do. I uh, mean, maybe the people who made it. And uh, apparently there are some Conria folk that are still alive. What about beneath the earth then? That is true. Paimon basically just said that. The Conria was an underground civilization. So technically nobody on earth knows more than you, but the people who made it lived under the earth. So I, I, I like that. I like that. Legend holds that the ancient realm of Conria lies beneath the earth. Since they built all the ruin machines, it would be ignorant for me to say that I understand these devices better than they do. Tell me about the bad, dirty stuff. Ah, you're looking for bad and dirty things, are you? Then you should visit the city. <laughs> The city? Are bad things in the city? This locale is somewhat polluted. That might be related to the bad and dirty stuff you mentioned. According to my research, all ruin mechanisms work on the same principle, no matter what they do. Whether it be flying or fucking shooting hellfire missiles out of the sky. We do know, one of the r, &R mentioned that the ruin machines are powered by the same energy as the withering, right? So if this giant ruin golem is no longer active, where did its power source go? Did it like seep into the freaking mountain or something? And and thus created makeshift like withering spot perhaps and well a ruin golem is theoretically the same as a ruin guard except that it has to be operated by people have you noticed anything abnormal about this ruin golem its eyes missing yeah this big guy here has no peeper <laughs> exactly according to the documents ruin machines are powered by their core to be precise by the dark power inside what you call an eye when conra was destroyed many ruin machines like this burst out from the desert although things are different for now, even the academia was unable to handle the cores back then. A single mistake could cause a core meltdown, leading to serious accident. As a result, the academia had no choice but to temporarily seal the cores and deal with them later. If the documents have it right, the core of this ruin golem should be sealed inside the ancient ruins known as Den's Cavern, which is right beneath our feet. Is there anything wrong with the core? There shouldn't be, but we detect some energy leakage. Yeah, I figured that. The seal seems to have been damaged at some point, although we have no idea when. Ah, uh, the last time someone published a research report regarding this matter, it was more than 10 years ago. Any progress on this matter should warrant a large amount of funding from the academia. At first, I had planned on taking the route recorded in previous reports to look inside. Unexpectedly, all the entrances were blocked. Araraikin knows that's the place outside where Araraikin sensed bad things. Maybe it was the Withering's avatar that you mentioned. I wouldn't dare mess with something like that. Hilly chose are more than enough trouble for me, as you can see. First things 
things first, though. If you want to travel underground, I have an idea as to how. We need to find a way to enter this ruin golem and smash the blockade entrance open with it. One thing that's been bugging Paimon since we got here, what is this huge machine part? Yeah, this looks like a giant piece of, like, the ruin machine got, like, lodged over here or something. Like, a few screws are loose, if you will. Our Raiken knows. Whoa, our Raiken moved it. How did you move something this big? Our Raiken can move it. Our Raiken is very strong. Holy fuck, what the hell? Yo, the unsung Giga Chad. Our like, I'm stronger than you, goddammit, and I'll prove it too. Our Raiken wasn't afraid. Our Raiken had heard of the things you talked about earlier, and they're very similar, just can't remember them. And our Raiken can't remember, probably because of the, maybe he utilized strength in the past, our Rockalari ability, and that probably caused him to lose memory as well. Our Raiken is confused, so our Raiken can't say anything. That's such a strange problem. Yes, very strange. All right, let's, let's get on the ball. <laughs> Flower pressed inside the adventurer handbook. It seems to have preserved someone's lost memories. Aw. Oh my god. You know what that reminds me of? Bro. This dried up flower reminds me of these three flowers of the Aro Nara that I just hung out with. It's dried up in the same way that this withered Savo got dried up after we used up all the power in it. And then these Aro Nara started losing their memory. So I wonder if this is the same but for Aro Raiken who can't remember what's going on. Let us return. 99% for Ardravi Valley. Holy shit, dude. We are so close. God revealed that into the wind and drown. Oh, fuck. All right, we're good. I hear everything. Everybody stand back. Oh, there's another giant gear. Maybe someone took the gears out of the golem and that's why it's like inoperable now. Looks like there are giant robot parts too. Gee, imagine what would happen if Jazari saw them, eh? He'd whip his camera out again and it would be the last thing we'd hear of him for a while. Our Raiken claimed to have moved the component back there, but that can't be true, right? Of course it is true. Our Raiken doesn't deceive humans. If I'm not mistaken, Our Raiken was the Aranara who played with the kids at the secret base. Yeah, exactly. I saw that coming. But Ara Raiken remembers nothing about this. Oh, I see. So quests we just did before with Aragara, Aragaru, and Aranakin. They said like using up their strength or like using up their strength made them like forget their memory. So if he used all of his strength to move these gears, that would result in memory loss for him, I think. Forrest remembers everything. I didn't put that together. I was like, he's moving these giant fucking machines. Our Raiken doesn't know what you're talking about, and our Raiken can't remember, but it's fun hanging out with little humans. Paimon hopes you remain happy whenever, wherever you may go. Yeah, so I think that's what happened. And uh, there it is, the final mechanism. And now we can get the hell out of here. After I see what's behind door number one. This probably brings me back outside, doesn't it? Or like connects back. Oh, it does. Okay. Music's coming from somewhere. Oh my god. They're everywhere, bro. <laughs> They're actually everywhere. Oh my god, this guy was waiting for me. Wait, we have something else? Oh yeah, the flower, yeah. Hold on, I think I remember this. Maybe, but then again, maybe not. Anyways, the past shall stay in the past, so forget it. But I have a feeling this flower does not belong to me. So please, return it to where it belongs. I can tell that you can see things I can't. He seems to have become a bit more fun than before. Ah, I was right. So that's actually Ara Riken's flower, withered. Similar to how we withered the Kus Kusava after using up the strength of the three Ara and Ara during that last fight with the withering. So I assume he forgot got his memory and his flower strength withered as a result. Where it belongs, the flower is yours. This flower is precious. Why give it to Ara Raiken? Because it belongs to you. Ara Raiken doesn't remember the flower, but Ara Raiken likes it. Ara Raiken cherishes this flower. Ara Raiken shall plant it in the garden. We'll see you at the foot of the great iron mountain once we get the giant mountain mo uh, started we'll we'll go get the bad guys together yes our raiken wants to fight the bad guys with you that's a promise Good shit we put it all together pog all right let's uh let's talk to this guy and get back on track all right let's see oh yeah so we're going in here you guys told me that there's a lot of lore once we open this door so i expect it give me that conria lore oh shit there it is oh my god what is that? Is that the heart? The heart of the golem right there? 
so much bigger in here than Paimon thought. Yeah, looks like nature has claimed this place too. This fucking eerie-ass music, hello? Behold, thousands of years of ancient Conrad history lie before us. Core power cabinet is at the bottom. Let's go down there first. Okay. Holy shit, dude. This place looks incredible. I better not get a jump scare, my dude. I just landed and I just heard something really weird behind me. The door- oh, the door closed behind me. All right, well, these doors need to stop closing on me, goddammit. What is that in there? Well, there's a scroll in there. See a scroll? Okay, I need to get into this door. These are all locked rooms. Oh, that's a chest. Okay, I need that chest. I need that. Okay, so there's some goodies here. Oh, are these the little- what the hell? They're just chilling on the floor? I'm entirely sure the energy cubes were left all over the place, but theoretically, use the cubes to activate the device. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so it's like this. Gotcha. What do you think? The machinery in the ruined golem, whether it's a relay or a trapdoor, can be powered by using energy blocks. But nothing seems to have changed at all. Well, because this backup system, a series of small power relays. In other words, we have to work our way from the bottom, and the system will only function when all the relays have been connected. All of them? Given the damage to the ruined golem, it is quite difficult for it to run at full power. But just as you were activating this relay, I found this in the power room. It seems to be a blueprint for the ruin guard uh, for the ruin golem perhaps its maintenance crew left it here according to this blueprint we only need to connect several key relays to start this machine at the very least we'll have to start this lift and go up okay so we have to take the power from the base move it up so that way we can do some stuff okay so i put one in that one and i put one in this one and then the last one will go into this one and then it powers the whole thing. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, there's a note. Oh, this is the note that he found. Ancient work log. Ancient work log. The energy cores have stopped working. The cause is an inherent mechanical design defect that causes the occasional operation overload. Suggested solution? Due to the lack of spare parts and the difficulty reducing more, maintenance is incomplete. It can only be operated at full power for a short while. Shutdown is recommended each time the chronometer completes one rotation. The weapon system has melted down due to overuse. Suggested solution? Strip destroyed machinery for relevant parts, then re assemble for use. Testing indicates that this should basically be able to fulfill the requirements of high intensity combat. <laughs> Why would you need high intensity combat? What the fuck? Also, chronometer? These motherfuckers are controlling time? What's going on? Smart boot system failed. Cause unknown. Many components have taken on sand and have disintegrated. The mobility system has not been completely disabled, but the ability to walk long distances has been lost. Suggested solution. This machine was lost in the- Oh, that's right. There's another the ruin golem in the desert this machine was lost in the southern desert we lack the means to tow this machine thus it is only standby and awaits retrieval holy shit okay so like why are they bringing these ruin golems to sumeru they brought two that we know of and it broke down so they have to like they were like yeah we can't tow this so let's just leave it here i bet they wish they had these ruin golems back in conrad when they were getting attacked by the fucking gods your biggest fucking artillery is in another region while you guys are getting bodied what Let's see, let's see. All right, you clearly do not work. So let me draw power from you. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. Can I pick whatever room I want to activate? Hold on, let me see. I need to open these rooms. Oh, let's go! Mysterious Chronicle. Tron Ritter, that we saw that name before. Beard Father? Wait, hold on a second. Hold on, pause, champ. <laughs> hold on, I need another note. I'm taking notes, chat. Okay, we saw the name Schwan and Ritter like early on in the Archon Quest. Schwan and Ritter. Beard Father. Oh, God. So, Beard Father might be an Odin reference, like the Ascension materials with the one eyed bearded person. Passed away due to multiple organ failure. May he rest in peace in the form foreign land. Heldrick died. So this is, okay, so this, they're describing this person. So Heldrick, there's Schwanenritter. I don't know what Schwanenritter is. That seems to be like a, an affiliation, maybe. Also known as the Beard Father. Passed away due to multiple organ failure. That might be a rank too, perhaps. May he rest in peace in a foreign land. So everyone's dying in a foreign land. Rosalind died in a foreign land. Heldrick died in a foreign land. May he rest in peace. Okay, so it's a guy. Okay, so these might be the, the these must be the op operators of the ruin golem.
problem then before shit went crazy and they uh maybe they got side like sidetracked by the calamity here and you know something happened and then they ended up just dying and i assume these were the operators of this ruin golem well, i'm gonna go through this door first oh i need three for this one okay so i might find the third one behind this door so we'll do that instead yeah oh look at that i fucking knew it bro smarter than the average bear all right oh another another note mysterious chronicle bro everybody's dying what the hell another operator maybe hadura another schwannen ritter sentinel of the golden hall sounds like some valhalla nonsense executed what executed by the king marshall and fortis for betrayal that caused irreversible damage to a machine well i guess we know why the desert golem is stuck in the desert maybe right because this one was dismantled by Ara Riken, so the other one must have been dismantled due to irreversible damage. So wait, so one of the Conrian's own betrayed them by tampering with the machinery, and they were then executed by King, Marshall, and Four- Okay, hold on, let me write that down. Knight, not King. And- Ortis. Yeah, I, I I I misread King, guys. I have dyslexia. Very interesting. There's some dissension amongst these people. Despite the massive loss and that the Knight Marshal's left eye was lost in the event, given Hadura was the last of their compatriots, a proper knight's funeral was granted for Hadura. Oh, so there was a it was a battle. Very interesting that they lost their left eye. Seems kind of apropos considering it's Conrad. But I think it's all of their right eyes that are covered. Kaya's right eye patch, Chainsleaf's right eye mask, Piero's right eye, I think, is covered too. Oh my god, someone in chat said he's blind now. <laughs> Get it? Because if all Conrians cover their right eye and this one's left eye was taken out, then they can't see. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking funny, dude. Despite the major loss that the Marshal, that the Knight Marshal's left eye was lost in the event, and they were a compatriot, so there, like, there must have been a justifiable reason as to why they did that. Like, why would you go come here with your other compatriots? And it said the last of the compatriots, so there was more than just these three. Let me write this down too. Hadora was given a proper burial despite being a traitor two yep and it's this one and then it's one with that one and then that one gotcha that was actually kind of clever i like that i actually had to like think that over again but we got it whoa one of them is still alive gig hilder sword of a lost homeland oh my god half dan's other half <laughs> bro does he say anything this is so weird i was not expecting this one with the forest sorry my dude i apologize I'm sorry. I do not feel good about that, my guy. I apologize. Whatever you're doing, please keep it down. We met the pilot. Pilot, are you joking? Even people of Connery can't live for hundreds of years. Piero would like to have a word with you. Dainsleaf would like to have a word with you. Potentially, Rhine Daughter would like to have a word with you. Like, I don't know about that one, Chief. All right, we got another door. We got another door. Do this. Let's grab you. Put you in here over here oh another dude i'm gonna find out everyone just killed each other oh this is the oh this is the guy we just fought all right let's see another schwannen ritter so this must be like an order of like it almost kind of seems like they're a group or an order of uh of knights perhaps schwannen ritter damsel of the dale went missing in a battle against the onslaught of dark beasts oh wait that there was a girl only her and signet ring were recovered a proper knight's funeral was arranged for her what a fucking girl boss dude what the hell so she fought uh, so, th so this had to have been during sumeru's calamity then she actually slayed monsters bro she survived 500 years only to get killed by me that's so sad god damn bro the lore is so heavy here now i want to know is like why were they sent to sumeru were they sent to like where the, was the uh, like was the calamity already happening and they sent the ruin golems to help or was this something completely isolated from what's going on you know that is kind of cool though because i think we I don't think we've seen like a woman from Conria at all, with the exception of knowing about Rhine Daughter. So that's kind of cool, but also it kind of sucks because we had to kill her. Like, damn. Oh my god. 
Okay, I was not expecting Zandic notes here. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck? Page from the research notes. It seems to have been torn off and hidden here by the author. Collected a lot of components. These spare parts of a huge machine. If only I could figure out its working principles and manufacturing process. Fiddling with these components almost caused a delay in my work. These exquisite mechanical parts have a unique and ingenious style, which is not likely to be found in the handcraft artifacts under the rule of Archon. Going to take them apart and record the size and shape one by one. But first of all, this secret must not be revealed by the other team members. Eh, Zandik's getting a little obsessed here with the with the Conria technology. He's like, damn, I can't let I can't let my teammates know what I found here. I better kill them to keep my secret. What is over here? What is this? Oh, a chest? Yo, don't mind if I do. Holy shit, dude. And that was a luxurious chest. That was goaded. Easy clap, boys. Nice. I like the little mechanic to this place. This is actually really fun. This is the type of rain puzzles that I appreciate. Also, please don't tell me there's like the body of Ann Fortis in there. I don't have to fight another one of these guys, do I? Dude, am I gonna literally channel the power of a fucking Megazord? Let's fucking go! Besides this dark stone slate, nothing else here seems to be of value. Let's try and start this machine. Bro, I really hope I don't accidentally, like, fucking smash, like, Sumeru to pieces with this thing. According to the specifications, press the button. Uh, which one is first? Okay, let's see. Bro, these motherfuckers got screens? Technology? Oh my god. Where's Celestia? Can I shoot them from here? Can I shoot them from orbit? Where are they? Motherfuckers, I'm watching you. Dude, this is so cool. Attack, yo, where's some hilly chills I can aim my freaking frustration at? That statue of the seven's looking pretty neat. Hey, wait, calm down. No. You must preheat the attack. <laughs> oh no. Fuck the gods and your goddamn statues. I've had enough. All right, I don't know what I just did. Fuck the statue of the seven! Down with Celestia! Oh no! I think I did that chat. I think that was me. Well, what did I say about following instructions? Arm just, you know, fell off. Paimon's pretty sure the machine itself is to blame. Fine, I'll record it as an experimental accident then. Ugh, I do hope that it won't just diminish my report in any way. Anyways, it seems like we won't be able to start the ruin golem again, so there's no point in keeping you here. I know you're here to investigate the contaminations of the underground ruin, but I'm afraid that the ruin golem won't be of much use to you now. It seems you may see some unexpected progress as a result of what you did. Well, I shall not keep you any longer. I have my research. Get the fuck out of my face. You ruined everything. Traveler's job is finally done. Now we have to go outside and reap the benefits. Oh, I think I made an open. Bro, really? I didn't kill these little. Ooh, Araikin's here. Big chillin' with your boy. Hey, Araikin, what are you doing here? Araikin has been waiting for you since Araikin finished sewing the flowers. But now something just fell off of the uh, the great iron mountain. It almost hit. Oh, damn. My bad, dude. We're sorry. My one doesn't have to say sorry. Araikin is fine. Auraiken is a fast runner, so Auraiken didn't get hit. Just glad you didn't get hurt. Robot severed arm must have broken the entrance to the underground ruins open. Uh, well, at least it wasn't completely useless. Then let's go down and have a look. Auraiken is going with you. Let's go. Ha. All right, let's go. Geronimo. Uh, one of the dig spots is right here, right? It's like off to the side or something. Bro, this literally looks like one of the spots, except it doesn't have torches. Hold on. Bro, liter- Oh, okay. That kind of looks a little different. You guys see where I was going with this though, right? That literally looks like this spot right here. There's no torches, so. Got another waypoint. Okay, this is where it was. Got it. Ooh, somebody else was down here. A lot of research notes. Let's light it up. Oh, hold on. Teamwork is dreamwork. Ha ha. Oh, wait, do I have to do this in order? How do I know what order this is in, though? How do I, how am I supposed to know what order it's in? Huh? Huh? Let's light it up! Huh? Oh. <laughs> I literally didn't do, I don't know how I did that. I just fucking did it. Wait, what was the achievement called for the name of the what? Oh, this was the treasure chest for the quest that I, the, for the for the parchment call of the nameless city. Quiet the mysterious parchment. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Okay, so it, it's this thing right here. I didn't even realize. Yeah, so it, okay, so this was underground, not above ground. Right, I guess I can read it now since I just completed it. Hapless Traveler, what brings you into this deep underground cave? Did the legendary tale of Hassad the Golden Adventurer entice you so? Know that the tale told the world over are but a speck of sand compared to what I have experienced. Only the nameless god in the desert knows how terrible misfortune has befallen me. Those ancient secrets unbeknownst to anyone, they have laid layer upon layer of curses on me, and I have become an oracle of a creature invisible. Three challenges I set forth by order of the evil spirit watching me from the shadows. Within them, I hide treasures brought forth from a cursed city of brass. If fear shall not stay your greed and curiosity, then follow my path. It's already too late. Behind the deep tunnel that leads to the pit of filth that countless dev once dealt, dwelt, and wail and screams of death echoes across the ruins. When the flames are lit in the correct order, in the same way you came here, I shall be free from this endless curse. But those eternal beings shall never perish until death has become the end of death. Deep in the desert of eternal desolation, there are things even older than the ancient pyramids. Those are the sinister whispers of the spirit of Al Azif, each one of them repeating the accursed name, Shiruya. What the fuck? Also, shout out, I'm pretty sure Azif was uh, Futaba's awakened persona in Persona 5, which is based on like Egyptian mythology. So like, that's also kind of cool. So in each one of them repeating the cursed name, Shiruya. That might have something to do with uh, the three magi of the of the desert or like the desert king, perhaps. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, it's kind of crazy that I read this now after completing this entire quest line by accident. All right. They said only when you complete the four and you go back to the entrance of where you came, will my spirit be free? Okay, we have a Seelie over here. Oh, maybe that's the spirit of the guy. Hey, the vines have come undone, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, you already freed it. It was the torches. Oh, okay. Just weird how he phrased it. Phrasing was like... I don't know. Anyways. Oh my god! This is such bullshit! Every time! Oh my god. How many times have I killed Tignari? This is a problem, chat. I don't know what I can do. Oyoverse needs to take the stamina bar out of Genshin Impact. That is literally my fucking kryptonite. At this point, it's intentional. How do I word this? I am flattered that you think that I'm doing this on purpose. I really do, because that actually means that I'm not as inept as I appear to be when I'm actually playing. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Jeez. Okay, here's where it is. Okay, gotcha. Whoa, the Aranara world is truly mar- Whoa, there's a- Wait, what? Just looking at the painting would lead you to the treasure? Now that we found the location of all the paintings, Paimon wonders where the Aranara who made the treasure map is. This isn't all of them. Right, there's that painting that many Aranara are in, but we can't find the treasure there. Something seems to be vibrating slightly in my bag. The seed- Wait, what? The seed we found in the chasm? Something like it's leading us somewhere. That might be it. Let's keep an eye out on the seed in case it vibrates again. Maybe it could be a trapped Aranara, or perhaps there's something like an Aranara treasury. Bruh. Pause, champ. What? Also, I'm missing. Oh, they're right. I am missing this one. Ah. I did go back and get this one last night. Holy shit, the shriveled seed. It's. It's being brought up again. Also, I guess we're not gonna use it to plant a new tree when Dotori burns the previous one down. Find the last place according to the vibration of the seed and the contents of its picture. What about this quest line? H hello? They're just like, yeah, forget what you're doing right now. We got bigger fish to fry. All right, unfortunately, I have no idea where to even begin looking for that quest line. So I'm gonna have to put a pin in that for now. And uh, I'll, I'll try to tackle it after we finish this quest. I, I feel like I'm juggling too many things right now. Oh, whoa! What is that? Oh, that's the core! I thought that was a Celestia pillar for a second. Holy fuck. I literally thought that was a Celestia pillar based on like how it was structured, but yeah, I can see the core of the Ruin Golem now. Glowing thing in there must be the Ruin Golem's Chaos Core, you know, the one Jazar is talking about. It's sealed by branches and leaves. There's something seems to be flowing out of it. Yeah, that's the fucking dark 
evil energy. Yeah, it's the filth, exactly. It's the fucking abyss energy. Our Riken can feel it. That's what made the forest sick. And some fucking mages are just big chilling over here, having a having a celebration. Maybe these abyss mages had something to do with it. Anyways, you should go and find a place to hide. We'll stop them. Yeah. AKA, cover your eyes, Ara Riken. You're not gonna Keep like up. the person I'm about to become. Into the wind. Correct. Teamwork is tricky. Let's nip that in the butt. It's like the power is restoring, so the let's get rid of the. Oh, okay. Oh, there's more mages over there. Okay. Um, one thing at a time. Oh my God! Look at that thing. Holy shit! That looks incredible. Yeah. Will I get- will I die if I get too close to this thing? Nope. I hope not. Dude! Alright, I should be getting, like, cancer right now. I am the Golden Nara! I want to take a picture of Aether in this. Bro, I'm literally the Golden Nara right now. Holy fucking shit. I'm actually goaded. Holy shit, I'm a fucking Super Saiyan! Alright, just wanted to save that. I love how, uh, I'm just getting cancer and just- I don't really care. I'm literally gonna turn into one of those fucking abyssal abominations by the end of the game now. Ah, another one. Oh god! Holy moly, dude. Holy shit. I literally pushed the button and it didn't go. This device is constantly extracting that energy. This is kind of creepy. Damn, bruh. Oh! Hello! That's the, from the trailer. Oh, fuck. I just got fucking bodied, my dude. What the hell? What do you guys want with the core? Ignorant ones, this shall not claim what of what's this earth. At this rate, why would you reject such a blessing? Clinging to what you see only turns you blind. Stop making excuses for destroying the forest. Yeah, you tell him, Paimon. Let's nip that in the butt. Let's light it up. Opened unto you. All right, let's try that again. All right, I got distracted. All right, that was a cheap shot. Turn off the device. Is there, Is there just an off button on this thing? How do we even know how to turn this thing off? That's what I want to know. All right, there we go. No more cancer for the region. Finally turned it off. Forest is finally free from further harm. Forest illness will slowly turn for the better. Nice, let's get the hell out of here now. I love how we just discovered all that crazy shit and we're just not gonna tell Jav uh, Javari. All right, kid, we're back. Phew, it's finally over. Dude, its arm is actually just chilling. It was a long journey, wasn't it? Let's tell the story. Yeah, let's tell the story to Jazari. Oh, right. If he knows about the core, it can help apply to some fun. Oh, okay. So we are going to tell maybe. But Paimon isn't going to enroll in the academia or anything. You aren't planning to either, right? Anyways, we don't know the Withering's avatar has to do with the Abyss Order yet, but it's a good thing that we cured the forest illness all the same. Thank you for helping Ara Raiken. You're welcome. So what are your plans next? Ara Raiken can celebrate Festival Utsava, but Ara Raiken worries about the forest illness. There's a chance that the bad things that make the forest sick will come back. Araraiken needs to guard the forest. So Araraiken will come back at here after Festival Utsava. Wow, Ara and Ara really do have tough jobs. If you need any help, Araraiken, be sure to uh, to come, come get us. All right, we'll do. Take care of yourself. We'll see each other soon. Let me fade with memory. Wow, what a great plot line, bro. We got so much rich lore of Conria there. So the Schwannen, the, the Schwannen Ritter seemed to be like a knightly order that was sent here from Conria with the Ruin Guards, like with the Ruin Golems. Well, uh, I guess something happened happened amongst the calamity taking place, right? He killed her, was fighting the dark beasts of the calamity. You had Heldrick, who died from organ failure somehow. Then you had this confrontation with uh, Enfortis and Hadura, where it led to Hadura being executed and Enfortis losing his eye, seeming to be like, you know, maybe uh, Hadura didn't want to fight anymore or felt like it was a losing battle and went against her, went against their, like, their commanding officer or something. <laughs> something like that. And now you have the Abyss in the mix too, which I wonder if like, if Conria and like all of this filth and uh, you know, it's called the filth, it's called the withering. I wonder if that is original. I wonder if that's Wherever original world, Abyssal power, world. like, right? Cause it's basically Abyssal beasts that come from, that come from that. So I wonder if it's just the Abyss trying to seek out power that's originally theirs anyway, you know? Cause they're also of the Abyss, they're also of Conria. Oh my God, chat, don't look now, but we have 660. 
66 achievements. And, oh my god, and it's literally 333 on the dot. It's literally 333, and I got 600. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> There's no fucking shot that that just happened. That is way too coincidental. 333 with 666 achievements. Celestia saw what I tried to do with their statue of the seven, and now they're like, all right, think we don't know? We gotta, we gotta be careful. Should I do it, chat? Stars are literally aligned for your boy right now. And pull manifestation! Okay, never mind. All right, no five star for me. That's how you know it's bad luck. Okay. All right, I'll take a Yunjin. Two four stars? You love to see it. Okay. You win some, you lose some, chat. I think what I'm gonna do now, since I finished the big Ruin Guard quest line, I'm gonna do the mini Ruin Guard quest line. There are, I think there's five Ruin Guards around this area. And I, it's funny too, because we're literally doing the mini version of what we just did in the Golem. So I have all of these small energy blocks and I have to put three of them into these Ruin Guards. So we're essentially doing the mini version of what we just did with the Ruin Golem. So I'm gonna do that real quick and see what happens there. Remains of an ancient ruin guard. The backup power supply has been switched on. Loaded up, three, one, two, three. Do I have to fight it? Records, cold, Fihu. Bro, this is Dragon Spine all over again. Dragon Spine had like, like code that like gave out a message. But I don't know what that message is. And I don't know in what order these are supposed to be read in. Okay, hold on. Let me, uh, let me, let me see. Do you guys know if someone decoded this already? Cause I'd really like to know what it says. If someone can look into that. Two, one, one, two, one, 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 two, one, one, two, two. All right, so that's one. That's interesting. So I'm gonna find all these locations and I think I'll look on the wiki and see if there's a decipher for it. Code or Ruse. 111221123. One, one, two, two, one, one, two, I know that there's pauses and stuff like that. I don't really know how that functions with Morse code. Oh shoot, there's a little R and R right there. Hold on, I'm gonna go talk to him after this. Code Thura says 1131123222. One, 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 two, two, two. Yo, material collector, my boy. Oh, this one's so cute. All right, here you go, buddy. I'll see you at the festival, my guy. Does anyone find it weird that I wanna find all of the R and R before I do the festival? Cause I don't want any of them to miss out on it. That that's weird, let me know. I don't even know if it's possible to find all of them before the festival. I mean, realistically, it's a festival where you wanna get all of them to be there, right? So if there's not, if all of them aren't there, then you're kinda, it's not really a festival for all of the R and R. It's only a festival for the important ones that are story related, you know what I mean? So we're kind of doing a disservice. Now I feel bad. Hey, it's all good, don't worry about it. I'm just, a, I'm just extra. Code Raidho, one, 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 two. There's one left. You're gonna get all 76 before the festival? I just I just don't know if I have access to where all of them are right now. I mean, if I have access, if I can get all of them right now, I would like to do that before the festival. Oh my god, chat. We fucking did it. We beat Genshin Impact. 9,999 min. Let's fucking go. It took me almost two whole years of playing this game, but we did it. Thanks for watching the stream. I'm officially retiring Genshin Impact. I'm gonna go back to variety gaming. I'm gonna place anything else but this game. Been an awesome experience, but this is where I hang up my hat. And someone said he's quitting finally. You know what? I'm just gonna play Genshin longer just because you said that. I'll play Genshin until the server shut off because you said that. All right, and this is it. This is the last one, I think. Three. I have two of these energy blocks left over. <gasps> and Seuss. Wait, wait, wait. That said in the name of Anne Fortis. That's the, the night marshal. Visit the places where the heroes met their end. Oh, dear. Well... That's depressing. RIP to the squad, all four of them or five of them, however many there were. Anthony, can you share the decoded uh, Morse code, what they said? So does that mean that those knights powered like manually operated these ruin guards or were these ruin guards like their, their companions in battle? We Schwan and Reiter have fought to the last one. We fought to the bitter end, but it wasn't good enough. Dude, so were like early ruin guards actually like battle suits? You know, either that or they actually like fought alongside 
their ruin companions. One or the other. That's kind of cool. Damn, bro. That sucks. So, like, those Conria folk actually came here and got bodied by the freaking calamity that happened here. And then some of them were like, I'm out. Peace. And then, and, and, and Forges was like, I, not on my watch. And then, yeah, everything just kind of went to shit, unfortunately. I am interested to learn more about the ruin guard in the desert because, oh, the ruin golem in the desert because, uh, it says that Hadora, like, betrayed them by basically causing irreversible damage to the machine. And I think it's the one that's in the desert because this one was dismantled, I think, by Araraiken. So the desert one also has some extended lore to it with these guys, I think. Wouldn't be surprised if we're gonna go inside that one and we're also gonna get lore from maybe more members of the Schwannen Rider and uh, maybe learn a little bit more about what happened on that side of things. That's crazy, dude. That's insane.